Well, I had the privilege of uh, growing up on a farm in Nebraska and also the privilege of having Christian parents and came to the Lord when I was just a child, five, six years old. And uh, the other blessing in growing up there was to be involved in a camp every summer. In fact, the camp that we had there was a property donated by my grandfather, part of his pasture land that was converted into a camp. And so I was just a child as we went to the camp. And the, so every summer, camp was part of my life and uh, part of my spiritual growth. And it was at camp that one time I, did, I committed my life to serve the Lord wherever He would lead me. And uh, I didn't know where that would be, but uh, instead of taking me to some foreign field, I have been here at Rio Grande Bible Institute for uh, over 45 years now. And we thank the Lord for uh, going and stepping out on faith and, and coming here. Uh, in college, I got a degree in Christian education and my minor was Christian camping and so Christian camping has been part of my life over the years and uh, when my wife and I were married we served at a camp up in northern Wisconsin and in fact they even invited us to be a part of their staff and uh, the only thing was is that they said well we don't pay salaries but you'll have to go and raise support and we thought well I don't know if we can do that and so we turned them down but it wasn't more than a couple months later that my uncle, Wilford Thiessen, who at that time was a music director here, um, challenged me and said, well, you know what? He says, there's more camps in the county in you, where you live in Wisconsin than the whole country of Mexico. And so that challenged me and he invited me to come with him on a tour to Mexico to visit some of those camps and to get to know the ministry down there. And so. Uh, I traveled with him and, and um, coming back, shared with Barbara, I said, well, that's where we're going. That's, we felt that, that that's where God was calling us. And, uh, and so we began to make plans to come down here. And so in August of 1974, we came down here and began in language school, began to learn Spanish. And I thank the Lord so much for having to learn Spanish because I know we wouldn't be here all this time if it wasn't for the blessing of knowing the language and being able to minister to the students. And so that first year we learned Spanish and then that summer went and worked at a camp down in Mexico and gained some experience there and thanked the Lord for that experience and got involved in the ministry here uh, with my abilities in photography, lended to promotional work and slide presentations and eventually video and so I thank the Lord for the opportunity to pro promote the school in many different ways and to serve in other capacities and even uh, for a time served as interim president but uh, thank the Lord even now for being able to be here even though it's been over 45 years it's been it's great to be here now you know when I was uh, passing the 40-year mark, I, I asked the question, I said, what would I do if, if I got to do this all over again? What would I change? And to be able to say, I wouldn't change a thing because I just thank the Lord for being here, seeing God provide, seeing Him take care of us, and to see the ministry with the students. Now more than ever, we see the students being challenged with global missions, because they can go to places where the North Americans can no longer go. And it's so exciting to see them and to have a part in their preparation to see God take them and use them for His glory. My name is Bob Croft and I serve as editor of the magazine, photographer, and professor here at Rio Grande Bible Ministries.